Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I have another follow-up video on iOS 13. Yes, a ton of new features, a ton of new changes have occurred with Apple releasing iOS 13 today. And as I mentioned, I was going to be covering this software in its entirety. So if you want to see more iOS 13 content, make sure to click the like button. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because there's a lot of content covering every single little detail about iOS 13. So those videos are coming up back to back in the next several days, including battery tests and extensive testing of the software as well. So for now, in this second follow-up video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my favorite features and changes within iOS 13 as of right now. And I'll keep in mind, iOS 13 beta one was available today, was made available today by Apple to developers. So a lot of new features and changes may occur in the future. And if they do, of course, I'll give you guys a follow-up video on my favorite features. So let's begin. So first I wanna talk about UI. This is gonna be one of my favorite changes so far. And that is the dreaded volume HUD from iOS 12 and below has been changed in iOS 13. Take a look at when I press up and down on the volume indicator, you get a quick preview of what the volume is like when you first press the button, but then it disappears into this little stripe on the side and then kind of fades away to the left. So take a look when I first press it, it shows you the real indication, very similar to the volume HUD here in Control Center, but this one just hides right away after it gives you a quick glance of what the volume is. I'm happy that Apple is listening to their customers and made this change in iOS 13 because it was really intrusive before iOS 13. I really like this new volume HUD a whole lot. Another awesome feature about iOS 13 is wallpaper appearance. Now, what this means is if you go to wallpapers here in iOS 13, there's actually four new wallpapers and you see these little circles next to the wallpapers. These wallpapers actually transitions from light to dark depending on the time of the day and depending on the settings of your iPhone. So for example, if I go to one of these new wallpapers here that have the appearance icon next to them, once the wallpaper is set, and by the way, there's a little glitch there where you have to set up the wallpaper twice in order for it to work. Again, this is iOS 13 beta one. So these bugs, these freezes tend to happen. But anyway, the appearance wallpaper is one of my favorite because it transitions from night to day depending on the settings. So if we go to brightness and display, and we choose the automatic option here for dark mode and we set to sunset and sunrise, the actual wallpaper will transition and change color as the day goes by. So for example, let's go back here into dark mode. Take a look at the wallpaper in dark mode. See that black surroundings of the wallpaper? This transition happens automatically and gradually with appearance wallpapers from light to dark depending on your dark mode settings. So I love that feature about iOS 13. Another feature I love about iOS 13 is in the control center. If we go to right here, the brightness toggle within control center, we have the appearance wallpaper option to turn dark mode on or off. So right there, it says light until sunset. So once the sun sets, the white background will disappear and it will turn into a dark mode just like that. So you can turn on dark mode directly from control center. So let's, let me go ahead and show you that here. So if I click on the brightness here, click on the appearance, see that we go to the regular white screen here. If we go back, go into the brightness, go into click on the appearance again, and it goes into dark mode. So you can control dark mode directly from control center. Love that feature. Another great feature within messages is the new Animoji and Memoji stickers. So we have a new option here. If you tap into it, you see here that you get all your Memojis customized as Animoji expressions. I love that. And you can further customize these as well. We'll get to that here in a few seconds. But you also have any emojis with custom expressions. I really, really, really like this a lot. You have all of the characters here with all the awesome expressions that you can choose from, from all these stickers, and you can share them, of course, with friends and family. Now, this one here was a recent uh, Memoji that I created. So this one here has AirPods in its ear, and it's got vampire teeth. But you can go ahead and set up a new Memoji right here in the Animoji uh, categories. And if we can edit here, you see that we have a ton of more options to customize your uh, Memoji. So we have more hairstyles, we have uh, things like earrings, different earrings, different uh, mouth settings and sizes with braces and things like that. Let's go to the mouth categories here. You see right there, we have different types of mouths that you can set 
on the new uh, emojis as well as uh, new earrings and things like that that they have right here for you to choose from. So a ton of great, ton of great content here added to the actual uh, Memojis categories, even earrings and different colors and sizes and just a whole lot, including a, a lot of new eyewear and headwear as well, like hats and things like that. So here is some of the eyewear, see right there, different styles. And of course, in the ear, you can set your actual uh, AirPods within the ears. So that's also pretty cool. Let me show you that here. So there is the ears, the earrings, and right down here we have the AirPods and a hearing aid as well. So really awesome new features within the Memojis categories and messages. I really like them a lot. Now this one is an old feature, but I'm glad that Apple brought it to the stock keyboard of iOS because you don't have to download an application or add an extension and that is swipe to text. It's very simple to simply swipe on the keyboard just to text. A really cool feature. Again, nothing new, but I'm happy that Apple added this feature to build a keyboard so you don't have to download any swiping keyboards. Another awesome feature is within the photos application. Now videos, you can edit just like you could photos. So what I mean by that is now you have the ability to add filters and other types of effects to a video. So it says downloading right now. So it's actually downloading from the cloud. So let's go ahead and wait for it to download. And I'm going to show you how you can actually edit a video just like you used to edit a photo, you know, changing the white balance and all these types of settings that you can adjust within a video. So there it is. It is currently downloading. And once it's done downloading, I'm going to show you right here the options right below. Right there, you have all your exposure options. You have your edit options. You even have the ability to remove the audio from the video directly from the photos application. So let's say I want to go ahead and edit right here with a filter. You have all these filters that you can choose from for your videos. So I'm really liking that a lot. You can actually edit and crop a video directly within the actual photos application. And you have a reset button up at the top in case you uh, mistakenly did that. And you can go back to stock if you wish to do so. Let's click cancel and discard any changes, but there it is. You can edit videos just like you could with photos in previous iOS versions. Really cool feature. Now another very awesome feature that I think a lot of you guys are going to be very happy to learn that is now available under general and fonts. Now this feature isn't working for me in beta one. Maybe it just needs a little more work. Of course, there's going to be many more betas to come, but this feature will allow you to install fonts and different types of fonts for your iPhone. Now I'm not sure if Apple will allow this to be system wide or if it's only for like text messaging and other texts within Safari, but the actual font settings is available right here in iOS 13. So hopefully this is system wide and we can change the font of the iOS device itself and not only, you know, uh, text within Safari or text messages when you type in the messages application. But this is an awesome feature, the ability to download fonts, custom fonts for your iPhone. Another great feature within Safari for the iPhone right here is these letters on the top right here or the left, depending on how you look at it. Well, we can tap into these letters here and you see that you have the ability to change the size of the font directly within Safari. You don't have to go to settings or anything like that. It changes in real time. Once you're done, you can dismiss it. You also can hide the toolbar and request desktop version of the website and you have additional website settings right here. Different options that allow you to restrict the website from accessing certain information like camera, microphone, location, and things like that. So super, super awesome feature built in to Safari in iOS 13. Another awesome change in iOS 13 is that accessibilities right here are now on the main page. You don't have to go to general accessibilities and dig through the settings. Accessibilities are just right there. And there's a very awesome feature called voiceover, which allows you to control your iPhone only using your voice. And I'll go in depth on that on a separate video because this has a lot of options to configure. And I like to dig into the accessibility features a lot, but this is a really breakthrough feature that allows you with only your voice control your entire iPhone. Apple is really big on that and there's a ton of options here for accessibilities. So I'm gonna be digging into this, but I'm happy that Apple moved the option directly to the front and added that voiceover to control iPhone. And again, it's not working perfectly as of right now, of course, this is beta one, but it's an awesome feature, voiceover in iOS 13. Now another great feature within the Photos application, if you're going to share something, you now have the option up at the top here to share with high quality. So the exact same high quality video and photos that you take on your iPhone will be able to be transferred. You have a toggle here. You'll be able to airdrop these 
as the exact same video quality and send these as well. And of course, you can also add an iCloud link to share with multiple users. By the way, this new setup here for the AirDrop options, I kind of like a lot. It just shows a cleaner look for all the airdrop devices surrounding you. So really cool options in airdrop as well. And last but not least is device support. Yes, Apple dropped the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus from the iOS 13 list, but every device like the iPhone SE and the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus and above do get iOS 13. And that's one of my favorite features, something that I'm really happy that Apple did because adding support for these old devices and such a new platform with so many new features as you see here dark mode is here on the iphone se as well is a really challenge thing to do really challenging thing to do for a company so apple is supporting many many devices and by the way i have an entire list of all the devices that are supported in the description but iphone wise iphone se on up of course that includes the 6s and 6s plus and i'm very happy that apple uh, packed all of these features into the old iphones as well you don't have a whole lot missing from older iphones so i'm very happy to report that once again guys Thank you for watching. A lot of in-depth coverage coming for iOS 13 in the near future. Be sure to stay tuned here to the channel. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to click the like button and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.